Finn, it's great to see you here thank at you. the festival and thank you so much for visiting us. No worries. Can you just very quickly say something about your um, background in film? Um, weirdly enough, I got a notification on my phone today and eight years ago I was making my first stop motion um, in like 2014, is that eight years ago? Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, it's been a journey from there. I've done, uh, I primarily learned film language through stop motion and then I studied film at college and um, now I work solely in stop motion. Uh, but as you saw in the film, or if anyone that watches the film, I like working in other uh, animation mediums. So I, uh, there was 2D animation in there, and then I represent it in like a 3D animated space. So it's like as much tactile as it is in the computer, which is... Why animation? Um, the control of it. And the, the kind of free, oh God. Too many words came to my head to describe it at once. Um, like the freeness of it, you can kind of go in many places, uh, more in an abstract direction, but keep it narrative based and it doesn't feel kind of, uh, like there's like a cheapness to it or like, you know, your brain isn't comparing it to a Marvel movie because you can kind of create the aesthetic of the image uh, completely, uh, which works well when you're working with a budget of probably about a hundred pounds, so <laughs> yeah. Great. Um, so, a little bit about the background of this particular film. Um, so, I mean, I don't like saying there's a set meaning for the film. There is for me, but essentially, I'd created characters for a different narrative, and I, it was originally going to be a horror film, and I had this kind of more surreal film that I'd been working on for a while, and I just, it wasn't landing with me. I tried making it in lockdown, but there wasn't a personal connection. And so I, I never like did, even edited all the clips I made for that film together. And when this film was coming around and I had this whole horror thing planned out, I had a different storyboard put together. I'd made the characters, I'd made a different monster puppet. And then my aunt died and it all was going, I was just thinking about it. And I was like, I don't want to tell this story. I don't want to tell this horror story. I don't want violence in it. I don't want it gone in this direction. And I was kind of sitting with it, and uh, my uncle uh, was kind of going through quite a, a sad um, uh, comeback from my aunt's death, and that was staying with me a lot. And uh, I kind of wanted to tell this story where it's sort of like, you're, it's quite physical. He's lost now in life, and the character is him to me, and lost in the woods. And so, when I was making the film, it only needed to make sense to him. And in my head, I was like, if he's going to understand like, that he's lost and that there's love even when you're lost in the middle of the woods. And it's kind of the scariness of the situation, the monster doesn't have to be as terrifying as you think. And so that was, that was kind of uh, how the film came about. But I mean, I've heard like, lots of different interpretations of it since I've shown it to people. So it's, it's been interesting and I, mean, I still see like loads of little flaws of the film and think, oh, if, I, if I was to do it again I'd do it differently but it's been really nice showing uh, different people the film uh, and hearing oh this is what it meant to me and it's completely different and it's like those themes of like loss and loneliness and kind of when you start kind of piecing together what might be happening you take your own interpretation from your own experience so I've enjoyed that with the film. Um, that's, yeah. that's a great explanation, thank you. So have you got other projects in the, top, in the pipeline? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm currently working on a project uh, which is, is a monologue film that's kind of more exploring the visual side of animation uh, in quite an abstract sense. I don't really know how to describe it. It's a monologue about a monk imagining what an angel might look like. Um, and it goes very religious in its imagery. Um, so are you drawn towards the spiritual yeah. stories? Very much so. My mum uh, is training to be an interfaith minister. I think it's just one of those things I've naturally gravitated towards. I've got a keen interest in religion and spirituality and kind of what isn't seen but is like understood around the world. And so I don't like swear by any particular faith, uh, but I have like a keen uh, fascination with Christianity and Buddhism and Taoism and all these, I mean, not technically all of those religions, but belief sets and just the spectrum of spirituality. So That's really interesting. Thank you so much and no wish you lots of success with Thank the you film very much. and with your future filmmaking. Thank you very much.